Oh my god. I used to work with a girl from Savannah. We were all sitting in the cafeteria in the lunchroom. I worked at um this was at IBM. And we were sitting in the cafeteria in the lunchroom. You know, a lot of people had brought their lunch from home. Some people bought it from the, you know, cafeteria. Mm -hmm. And so we're sitting at this round table and we eating and she done brought her shit in. So she got it in this little Tupperware container. Bitch, just as sure as I'm sitting here next to you. She had picked that a sandwich up. It looked like it was like a pork chop or a fried chicken sandwich, right? And she had picked it up and she went to bite it. It moved. Bitch, this little bone fell from the back of the sandwich, bitch. It fell on the table. Bitch, when I tell you, she cleared that table. Everybody cleared that table because it wasn't the right color. You know, chicken bones have a, a certain color. Bitch, this chicken bone was discolored. Not only was it discolored, she was like, what? What happened? And they were like, bitch, what is that? What the fuck is that? What kind of, what kind of meat is that? Bitch, it was raccoon. She said, she didn't understand. She said, I grew up in the country. She said, we eat this. And she said, if we riding, if I'm riding down the street and I see a roadkill, like a raccoon that's dead, she'll get out of her car. And if it doesn't look like it's been there long, and if it doesn't look like it has rabies, she picks it up and puts it in her car and they take it home and skin it and eat it. This was a black girl. Well, Craig, you are from Virginia. No, bitch, I'm from Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a difference. Craig, you are from Virginia. I'm from Maryland. <laughs> I'm from Maryland. Craig, you are from Virginia. I'm from Maryland. Two, one, two, that's one, like five. Saying, Maddie, that's like saying you're from Florida. No, no, I'm from Dade. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to be clear here. I'm from Dade County. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be clear. I'm from Dave. I'm just saying. He said he's telling you he's from Maryland. You say he's from Virginia. Well, I'm from Dave. Okay. <laughs> she fucked that food up, though. I'm oh. trying to tell you. I can't eat possum or nothing like that. I but you do, do eat possum. What? It just has a U in it. Why are you a mess? Man? It just as a you in it. Why are you such a mess? So in the comments said, I'm from the South. We do eat um raccoon. They said we eat coon. Oh, okay. Well, girl, MC Light was on the Breakfast Club talking about how she wasn't um well that she don't eat possum anymore. <laughs> anymore. Anymore. The one that's spelled with a U. Correct. <laughs> She said she doesn't eat it anymore. Oh, the one that's spelled with a U. I'm gonna play it over here. Hold oh, no, on, but you talking about the possum that's spelled with the U? Correct. She don't eat that no more. No. Okay. She said that was just a phase. That she ate, that she ate the possum with the U. <laughs> that was a phase when she was growing up. That she ate the possum with the U, spelled with U. And she said on the Breakfast Club that she felt like that was something that was put on her. Mm. That wasn't really who she was. And then when she got older, she realized that that's not what she. What she wanted or that she didn't want to have the possum with the U. Kind of like Donnie McClurkin. You know how he said he ain't no more? That he was eating the, the, the Chico stick with the D. <laughs> Not stick, but the Chico stick with the D. The stick with the D. Right. <laughs> so she talked about her marriage and how, you know, people were saying, what? Wait, wait. She married? I thought she was a lesbian. So she talks about it on the Breakfast Club, but you ain't gonna sit here and convince me. Craig, everybody can be delivered. I used to be a prostitute. I don't do that no more. Well, that yeah, but that's a profession. Well, you could be a professional pussy eater. <laughs> Correct. That's a talent and a skill. Sexuality is se sexuality is instinctive. It's how we're wired. It's not a choice. It's not a decision. Come on. She, she's at least bisexual. If she ain't gonna tell me on the idea that she's straight. Correct. What we're not gonna do. 
I said, she ain't gonna sell me on no ID. What we're not gonna do is make <laughs> is, uh, is identify her. No, I didn't identify, I said me. We're gonna let her identify, so she identifies. Well, you know, there are people who suffer from delusion. But she's at least a truck driver. <laughs> I think she got a big rig. Because she been standing over there at Jada Pinkett's house. Oh! I mean, I think they just friends. Where's your but... son? Is that your, well, you know, Jada from Baltimore, too. Jada grew, grew up around the corner from me <laughs> on, on, on Price. She grew up on Price. Like Kelly? Correct. <laughs> she grew up in 21215 as well. They said no no MC like slander over here. I'm not slandering. It's not slanderous <laughs> when it's true. There's a difference, niece. <laughs> Slander is an untruth. Now, what that lady has said was, She had only dibbled and dabbled back in the day. But that leads me to another piece of what I wanted to say. We need to see the breakfast club piece that her said out her own mouth. All right, well, we're going to see that. But then we also gonna... <laughs> we're going to also talk about how there's a double standard. Let's see, women can, can, can go eat the coochie and come back. That's my problem. But men can't. Let me get my next sub by the trade. <laughs> and he go home. Let me do that. <laughs> All right, y'all ready to hear what MC Please like let that? me get my next sub by the trade. Let him go home. <laughs> Please. Uh, Can I please you watch my... all of your personal stuff play out so much on social media or just online? Like, oh, I'm she like got a divorce. Did you put that, the picture? Right. Um put up the picture, Mo. I don't know that it bothered me so much. I just love having the opportunity to get oh. them told. So at that point, you said whatever you want to say, I get to say whatever I want to say, which was you know really difficult back in the day. Now you can just write what you want to write, put it up, and people can have it. So when, when the whole divorce thing happened, I just saw all of this stuff that says he was trying to get this or she got to keep her. It's not she got to keep. He was never trying to do that. We had a prenup. Mm -hmm. He's got his own stuff. But it's not like I didn't expect it. Anything to get a click. You know, people will say so. I just was happy that I was able to set the record straight. How challenging has it been for you, you know, if at all, to, to, to constantly have people assume you were gay? So I remember when they announced you were divorced, everybody was like, "Oh, I thought." Right. Gay. Yeah, <laughs> I remember Jess hilarious. She, I think she posted something that was like, "What?" <laughs> and in the news, you know, and um, you know, to me, it's just. When I said people will say that you like something before you even know what you like, no, you know, no, no. and my biggest thing with the young with the younger generation is don't really? be so prepared to put yourself in a box. You're learning your you know, life is what it is coming out of teens into your 20s. You're seeing things I had to learn much later on in life. Everything you think doesn't need to happen, mm. right? Mm. It can be a thought and stay there. Everything that you see other people do doesn't have to be the life for you. Mm. And, you know, growing up as a, an only child, things are impressionable. It's like, oh, okay, that must be the, th okay, wait a minute, hold on. Okay, we're not doing that. No. Okay. The and so for me to be able to choose my life for myself, mm -hmm is extremely important. So did it bother me perhaps in the beginning, but then it just became, oh, okay, well, that's, that's how you wanna feel, that's great. And that's not saying that those types of things didn't happen in my life, mm -hmm. but that's not all, that's not all of who I am. Mm -hmm. And so- Oh, so the rumors did stem from somewhere, but that's, yeah, okay, I got mean, you, right. experimented with. Got you, got you, got you. When you're young, especially in this business, it's like, okay, right. you, you think it? Okay, let's make that happen. Mm -hmm. um, oh, now you're going to open up the Illuminati conspiracy theories. Well, <laughs> well, the sad part about it is many people get stuck there, mm -hmm. right? And so they're stuck with what it is that other people want them to be or are comfortable with them being. Mm -hmm. You can't possibly look like that and want to be with a man or find men attractive or me getting married. First off, I'm way more traditional than anybody would ever assume. So me getting married 
was because I believe in the sanctity of marriage, mm-hmm. of partnership. And it not working was devastating for me. Mm-hmm. But it also called to action me being responsible for the way that I speak, for the way that I behave, um, and being accountable for someone else's feelings. Mm-hmm. Does, it, does it bother you watching all of your personal? You can take that, Ma. Oh, so, in other words, longer, short. Well, the people in the comments said it's okay for you to have your liquor license, uh, uh, MC. It's okay for you to have your lick, lick her license. Lick her. Lick her license. It's okay. You know we got to say this for... for... Uh-huh. Because, <laughs> see, here's the thing. What she's saying is she sampled and dibbled and dabbled, and she realized that that wasn't for her. But what did just say about her? Well, when she got married, when MC what like did, what what did ju- just with the must say about her? MC like I mean, she said something about MC like she she alluded to her being a lesbian. Like, oh, she get married. So so just said this. Mm-hmm. That's what MC like said. The one who that people was alluding to could have been trans. Could have been a trainee. And speaking of that, MC Light has masculine energy for a woman. It be the it be the I don't like I don't I, I really don't come to the conclusion that I don't like I don't like her. I did it at the first I was like, like mm, maybe I don't like her because it's just like why we swear everybody gay. Wait, what? And then she went on to say in this clip, <laughs> just because that's how people perceived her didn't mean that she had to continue down that path. Right. She said and there are people who are in this community, the queer community. Who are still in this community because that's what people perceive them to be. So, in other words, like we don't know that this is just who we are. So we're just this. Well, obviously, this this sounds like someone that's raised in the church, or has church background, or has church ties, or has church energy wrapped around them. This this definitely sounds like a church girl, big mama, grandmama, mama, somebody done churched her. Cause usually the mo- most most church sissies, mm-hmm. <laughs> struggle with identity. True, that's true. Most church sissies, that's s i s s y s, struggle with identity. S i s s i e s. You gotta we, drop the wine and i e s. No, we are gonna keep the wine and the s at the end. Cause it's like, why are you playing? Why are you playing, girl? Ah, why are you why, why are you right. over there? Why are you over there on top of that woman, knowing giving her children and fucking up this woman's life, and you out there sliding on the D and the L? Why are you doing this when you know that this is a struggle in your life? And just because I would, I'd like to say this again, and I like to say this with convict. Let me move my say it again, bitch. Just because you suck dick and you're a woman or you eat pussy and you're a man, just because you long dick and pussy because you're a man or you get your pussy long dick does not mean that you're not a homosexual. You're delusional. It does not mean that you're not, that you don't have, you don't have (laughs) the spirit of homosexual on you. It does not mean that. Hmm. I'd like for you to understand a lot of you niggas that can't keep a bitch and you got to jump from bitch to bitch to bitch to bitch to bitch monkey barring you monkey barring go ahead on to entertain that homosexual demon <laughs> and free yourself I was scrolling through TikTok yesterday and it was these two fags FAGs and there's a there's a page that I follow. It's called Cute Couples or something. And so they randomly run up on couples and they say, excuse me, are you two a couple? And they say, yeah, we're a couple. Can you tell us a short story about how you met? These two fags uh-huh. told this story about how they met in... Um, they were in the bathroom stall? No, no, no. What's that treatment? Shock, not shock treatment, but it's similar to that. Conversion. You know, conversion. They went, their, their respective parents sent them to a conversion treatment place. They met there and fell in love. <laughs> Can you imagine sending your kid to get converted, bitch? And he didn't went and fell in love. They, they don't have a salt and pepper cashew. Oh, okay, that's fine. So no. we need to go back and get the jalapeno. 
Go they, back and get the jalapeno. Get more of the jalapeno. Yeah. Okay. They don't have the salt and pepper. Okay. I knew you was gonna fuck up like that. This one. Uh, stop. <laughs> you want to try? You want to try the sriracha? Yeah, we could do sriracha. Okay. But my problem is, is that y'all be thinking that because y'all getting pussy or y'all getting dick that 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 now these these desires and these thoughts or whatever you know are gonna just automatically go away because now you if you got some wet wet on your penis or your or she's creamed all over your nut sack yeah or or he's made you cream that you don't want to have that feminine touch right from that other feminine or you don't want to have that you don't want to rub a nut or two balls and dick together like stop <laughs> two balls in the dick don't do that Y'all have been y'all walk around this whole life, your whole life, living for other people right. who, who are doing the things that you desire to do. Correct, like you're a pastor, telling you that you're gonna burn in hell because you because you a trainee or you're gay or and they now, a lesbian. and they now they're trying to get that chlamydia out they throw from their PCP. Because you know there was a church here, child. Did you there was some foolishness going on there? When I said that pastor was having a congregation and had a wife. I'm not even gonna say the name of that church. No, I'm not. He had a wife, kids, and was fucking folk in the congregation. I'm telling you, the healing that we have to do in our community around homosexuality and desires of loving and lusting or loving or even actually loving and lusting for one another. We have to be healed. <laughs> there has to be a healing that happens in our community. Right. It gotta be. It has to be. But see, there has to be an admission. And I and personally, I think the church body, all denominations, owe the queer community an apology. They really need to come forward and say, you, you know a, what? You mean an apology like Kim Burrell gave us last No, week? no, no, a real one. No, that was one. No, it wasn't. She said, let's give us a round of applause. <laughs> I think that Ozempic fucking up her brain. Cause that wasn't even no real. She looked good, no Craig. She looked okay. Um, but I think the whole church community owes the gays or the queers an apology. They need a sincere apology, and I think they need to say, come forward and finally say, you know what? We had this whole gay thing wrong, this whole queer thing wrong. You understand what I'm saying? Like we we misjudge. We do understand now that sexuality is instinctive. That it's how you're wired. No, no, it's Craig, not a it's choice. A it's not a decision. It's a, it's a demonic. Spirit. Yeah, but I need them to come forward. They've had enough popes, <laughs> pastors, deacons, bishops that have fallen and not gotten back up. Donnie, and so, I saw what you did there. I see. I I was captured. You're in the room. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Children out of here. Get them out. Get them out of here. There's too many punks in it's here. There's too many. We got to make room. We got to make room. There's too many gays in here. Too many. Get those children out of here. Y'all done had enough Catholic priests touch little boys <laughs> that somebody by now should have come forward and said, you know what, man? We, we, we need to rethink this. I think we kind of propagated a lot. <laughs> These people really haven't chosen to be this. It's just a part of what happened. Please forgive us, queer people. That's what they need to say. Yeah, we did that to you. We made you feel that you were going to go to hell when you've 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 we've broken up so many life partners. Somebody's life partner out there is a man. Somebody's life partner out there right now is a woman. Somebody's life partner out there right now is a trainee. Stop depriving yourself. You get one life. You get one. Just one. He says once, but I'm saying one. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mo, Mo, Mo is not young. Mo is not Same, young. Mo. I need you to say I know damn well. I know damn well they weren't singing Jeffrey Osborne in Africa. <laughs> I know they weren't playing Jeffrey Osborne over there. You never know. They might have. You never know. No, you were we there. Have we have radios. No, in you Africa. were there. Well, I know y'all have radios, but y'all weren't playing that. What do they look like, Mo? What do they look like? Little transistors. Well, there's the boombox radios we no, had. No, they were little the transistors. <laughs> Why y'all being messy? Oh, well, they were two -way. Why y'all being messy right now? Don't do that. Do not do that. They said that's not Jeffrey. Well, Arsenal. who is it then? 
<laughs> I could be wrong. Yes, you can. You're a punk. So that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Who sings that? So I want to know what the what the oh James Ingram is it James Ingram I wanted to know what the uh, ju- what did just say why well, was just alluding to somebody's sexuality yeah, they, they said it was James Ingram James Ingram okay why was just alluded to somebody's sexuality I don't get why things I, be- well see I think well I don't know if that was when she said that I don't know if she was on the Breakfast Club at that time I don't know but MC Light mentioned that yeah because she heard it right and she saw it. Just ain't never been funny to me. Y'all done laughed at Just. <laughs> mm. It's I'm not gonna go in that area, Madison. Stay out. Madison, stay out of that area. Stay out of that area, Madison. You already had so you already said you weren't doing that no more. Okay. I did say that, Madison. Madison, I did say that. Okay. No, I had to talk to myself, Craig. I lied. I you had to calm yourself? Yeah. <laughs> I see. Because I really thought I was going to get a third round. But that weak response that I had got on the breakfast club that time it was real weak. It was very much so, I'm not your sister or your brother. Like, girl, hit me with something else. Because we don't know which one you is, actually. We don't know which one you are. And I definitely was coming with, I definitely was coming. The next day, I had already apologized to the mob. I had told mob, I say, mob, I guarantee you that bitch water gonna break on the day. You let that bitch get up today with some fuck shit. I'm gonna, I guarantee you that bitch water gonna break on, on the rep, on, on live. I see that bitch hands trembling in that response. Cause she had to continue to say she and her, right? Mm-hmm. Cause that ain't what she wanted to say. But I was waiting. I was like, "Bitch, give it to me raw, <laughs> like you got it in that six pack." Yeah, baby, I like it raw. Ooh, Cause I did. I had apologized. <laughs> I came up. I said, "Well, Craig, you remember that day? Yeah. I made that long post, Ma. I want to tell y'all, 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 y'all not gonna. It all depends on how the course of this day go." That Miss Mama's not gonna like me. That y'all not gonna like me because I'm gonna hit Miss Mama's in her throat. <laughs> <laughs> you say mamas, they already say I'm transphobic. They do. <laughs> right. But it ain't. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna do it against that one of my sisters. Give me this uh crown roll right here. You want to make this? I just need me a little brown. Y'all talking about not this again? It's not. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. They all talking about you have that green dress. I on. do, so I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna chill. Craig, I'm gonna chill. You trying? I am. <laughs> you can tell, can't But you? it's real hard. It's kind of like when that's that. Uh, it's kind of that. The truth, I candy. Oh. <laughs> Girl, girl, stay away from that. Because <laughs> you know I'm dying to talk about that. <laughs> you know I'm dying to talk about I know, so I'm going to go away. Yeah, please move around. Oh, move around. Man. You're my little secret. This yeah. how we oh, God. keep it. <laughs> this <is> Dominique. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> you are so fucking crazy all right let's go on on mm. but again if you're out there in your life struggling with homosexuality or desires hey, stop struggling ain't nothing to struggle, struggle with. with or desires to be in with somebody that's love you to be there's somebody who loves me if you want to dance with somebody that loves you bitch dance right you got one life to live dance right i hope you dance i knew you were about to go there I hope you dance. I hope you dance. There was no way that I was going to live this life that I live right now. This whole entire life that I live right now. Trying to be on top of some motherfucking woman. Giving these giving kids because my mother wanted grandchildren. I got two other brothers. They done gave her grandchildren. 